Hey guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and if you're new, a special welcome to you. Now guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the issue when Yahoo search keep replacing in your Google Chrome and also how to remove Yahoo search from Google Chrome, right? So the first thing you want to do is open up your Google Chrome and you want to click the three dots on the top right hand side and then you want to go to settings. Now, once you're there on the left hand side, you want to select search engine and you want to ensure that here where it says search engine use in address bar, this is set to Google and not Yahoo. If it is set to Yahoo, then this is the first sign that's telling you the reason why. And you need to change this to Google, right? Now, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and click manage search engine and site searches. And you want to delete all of these except Google, right? So you can just simply click those three dots and you want to do delete, right? Then click delete again. The same goes for this one and the same goes for Bing, right? Go ahead and delete all of them and leave only Google, right? So this will ensure that Google is set to your default. Now, once you do that, guys, the next thing that you want to do is click on extensions on the left hand side again. And then you want to check all of these extensions and make sure that you don't have any unwanted or unknown extensions enabled and you want to simply deactivate them and even possibly remove them and as you can see when it's toggled to the right side that means that it's on when it's toggled to the left side like this it's off so this is off and this is on right and if it's off you can simply delete them by simply click remove right simple as that now, once you do that, you can take this a step further to ensure that you don't have any unwanted application. So let me go ahead and minimize this, right? And you can just simply go ahead and click the Windows icon here and you want to do uninstall, right? Once you type uninstall, you will see add or remove programs and you can simply click on it. Then you want to go through the list of all of these installed applications and you want to ensure that there are no unknown applications or applications that you don't want you want to uninstall them this will also help you to free up space on your computer and make it faster right but the idea is for you to uninstall any unknown recent application that might be on your computer that you don't remember or you don't know of that is recently installed on your computer that could potentially be causing this issue as well so you want to uninstall those applications and to uninstall applications is very easy. All you have to do is just click the three dots here towards an application and simply do uninstall. And that will uninstall the applications for you. Now, once you do that, guys, you want to go ahead and restart your computer. Now, after you restart your computer, if you persist, you want to go ahead and open up your Google Chrome once more, right? And once your Google Chrome is open, guys, you want to go ahead and click the three dots on the upper right hand side and you want to go back to settings then on the left hand side you want to simply click reset settings and then you want to click on the option where it says restore settings to their defaults origin you want to click on that and you want to do a reset of your google chrome this will reset google chrome to its default and it also will disable those extensions and it will also delete cookies and other temporary site data. And you don't need to worry because your bookmark history and save passwords, these won't be touched or won't be affected. So there's nothing to worry about. But go ahead and try this and then you want to go ahead and try again. If after you do a reset settings, the issue still persists, then you can also go ahead, click these three dots again. Then this time you want to go to help and you want to select about Google Chrome. And then you want to allow your Google Chrome to be updated. Now, once your Google Chrome is updated, guys, you want to go ahead and click this relaunch button to relaunch Google Chrome. And once the Google Chrome is open, you want to go ahead and click again, search engine, and you want to ensure just to double check that Google is selected. Now, if after all of this is selected, you want to go ahead and try your browsing again. And if this is still an issue, I would recommend that you uninstall Google Chrome, that you go back to your uninstall application or your other remove programs. And you want to search for Google Chrome within the list and you simply want to click the three dots and uninstall Google Chrome. Now, once Google Chrome is uninstalled, you might need to use a separate browser, whether Firefox or whichever browser you have 
simply search for Google Chrome download and within the search results you can simply click on an option that says download and uninstall Google Chrome then you want to make sure that you choose the operating system or the computer of your choice whether it's Mac Linux or Chromebook or Windows select Windows for example and then you want to click download this installation file this will trigger the download file for Google Chrome and you will simply need to install that if for some reason this doesn't start automatically all you have to do is just click this download Chrome here and you will see that Chrome is downloaded and here you can see within the downloads here that the exe file of Google Chrome is downloaded and all you have to do now guys is install the brand new version of Google Chrome and try again now guys I really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below I'd really appreciate that and if you see the channel for the first time well, welcome to Drew Tutorial I'm Anjo and I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when I release another helpful tutorial just like this one thank you very much and see you next time